Hey guys, I'm here in Istanbul, Turkey, and I'm so excited because I'm having dinner tonight at this famous seafood restaurant right by the waters. Hey guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm here in a Holland America press trip and I'm taking the seven day Aegean sunset cruise starting from Athens, Greece. And we are now on our first night and we're docked in at Istanbul, Turkey. And I can't wait to show you guys. Hey guys, I have just got out of the core terminal and there's so many people here enjoying the city center. I can't wait to wander around. So we docked around 3 to 4 p.m. and my actual excursion isn't until 7 p.m. That's why I went out of the cruise to wander around on my own, trying to see what's around and want to take some pictures as well. Hopefully I can try some authentic Turkish food while I'm wandering around. Let's see. Wow, it is such a vibe here. I know it's because it's right outside the cruise terminal, so it's a lot of touristy areas. But I'm actually very surprised how modern this part of the Istanbul is. And I'm trying to look for Turkish coffee right now. Hopefully I find a good spot. So I ended up at this spot called Recon Coffee. It's right outside the very touristy area, outside the cruise terminal. But uh, since I was trying to stay away from the core touristy area, I didn't have much time to really venture out. So I went to the nearest one outside that I found that had pretty good reviews. And when I went inside, it's a nice quaint coffee shop. And they actually roast their own beans. They source their beans from Brazil and Guatemala, and, and that's what they use for their Turkish coffee. I can't wait to try it. It looks so good. It does kind of remind me of the what I had for Greek coffee. So it is stronger, has a, has a nice foamy top, and it is much richer in taste as well. So what the owner told me is how they grind the beans is more different, and the, the roasting, they actually roast it a little lighter than what they do for Greek coffee and that's why the Greek coffee was more darker and bitter so if you prefer your coffee to be like on the lighter side Turkish coffee is the one for you so there was a kid who just passed by so I was drinking coffee and then chatted with me asking if I love the Turkish coffee which I did and he was so happy to hear that so similar to Greek coffee the Turkish coffee has a lot of grounds at the bottom after and you're not supposed to drink it you can if you really want, you may not be able to sleep at night and I don't know how good it is for you health-wise to be drinking all that leftover. It's become such a sludge, it doesn't even fall anymore. It's so thick. I'm so tired so I had to run back to the cruise because there was a meeting point for the excursion inside the cruise. I have to go through all that passport control again. And I got my sticker here that's needed for the excursion. And now we're heading back out again. After all that traffic, we finally made it 
to where we've been dropped off. So we're crossing a part to get to the restaurant. It's going to be along the Bosphorus Strait. And the restaurant will be overlooking the strait with beautiful views. And I can't wait to try the seafood. So yeah, can you see the aquarium where they have the fresh fish? I see some awards as well. So this is cornbread. This is sea bass with mustard sauce. This is caviar made into some mixture. And then this is eggplant. So this one here is red pepper. And then there's a sea bass salad. This is cigar buri and it's deep fried pastry stuffed with white cheese inside. Mm. Oh, wow, it's so good. This is fried mussels. So I took people uh, from Istanbul. Uh, so side of so fresh. Thing. Trying with the and sauces. Everybody and everybody said it. <laughs> All the way we are drunk. <laughs> so the shrimp has a tomato sauce with garlic, butter, and soy sauce. Soy sauce is a pretty interesting choice to do. I didn't expect that. Let's try. Mm. The soy sauce adds a nice, like, salty complement to the acidity and heart of the tomato. Guys, I highly recommend coming here at that perfect hour where it's still daytime, but it's about to be sunset and going through the night so that you get all the different lighting, this beautiful view. Hey guys, I'm taking you to an exclusive behind the scenes inside their kitchen and I'm going to show you how they make the grilled sea bass. Sea bass, white sea bass, John Dory, scorpion, dentex, mm -hmm. grouper, red snapper, shrimps from Mediterranean, sea bream, and some fillet fish over there. We have caviar from Russia. Arcora, we are in seafood restaurant. Since 1996, until you already see, we have all different kind of seasonal catching fish and lobster, king crab from Alaska, oyster from France. We have gilardo, fin de killer. We have also sushi concept. Then I want to show you the, our kitchen. Let's go. This is the grilled sea bath that I showed you in the kitchen. Can't wait. I do you want sauce, oil, lemon mix, fish sauce? Okay? Okay. Mashallah. Thank you. <laughs> Mm. It's so tender and flaky, so fresh. The butter garlic sauce they add just like brings out the flavors even more. Add a touch of lemon. Mm. This is the syrup. It's a plate of fresh fruits, and in the middle is baklava. Look at the layers on this baklava. It's so good, and I like that it's not super sweet as well. That was such a great meal at Park Fora. The seafood was so good. I was so happy. I kind of wish I got to try more dishes, especially the ones I saw in the kitchen. They looked so amazing. It was a really great night, and the red wine was free-flowing, and the views were spectacular, especially 
seeing it from daytime to nighttime. What a change in scenery. I hope you enjoyed this small trip to Istanbul that I did and had a, an idea on what where you can dine in Istanbul for both Turkish coffee and some amazing seafood.